Hey y'all, Tom here, and this time it's not necessarily a friendly chat, but it could be. Uh, I got some good news and some bad news for you. Uh, first off, the bad news. There's a problem with the alerts in Grid Tracker uh, where some of the voice is actually getting out onto the air on the uh, FT8, uh, FT4 frequencies. Uh, as this is out of bands for voice communications could get you into trouble with the FCC. I'm going to show you a few ways to get around this. Uh, some of them brute strength, some of them a little finesse, uh, but I'm going to show them to you. And that's the good news. Uh, another piece of good news, I got a new hat. What you think? Let me know down in the comments. So the first tip that I'm going to give you and uh, I would advise you do this one right away until you can get the other ones worked out. Yeah. And the other ones are pretty simple too. Uh, go to your settings, go to alerts, there we go, and make sure that all of these alerts are disabled. Okay, uh, just turn them off. Uh, the other one you want to do is under call roster and you want to make sure this audio alert on new wanted is disabled. That way you're not going to be putting out any alerts. Kind of, this is my brute strength one. So the next thing I'm going to show you after shutting off the, uh, just shutting off the audio uh, is a little bit more finesse, uh, but it's something that you should be aware of. Uh, I want you to come down here and uh, right click on the speaker icon and open volume mixture. Uh, now I first off apologize this is Windows 11 however there is something similar uh, in Windows Windows 10 and you can apply the same principles. Uh, you come here under apps you find your grid tracker uh, basically any uh, anything that is running that uses audio will be listed down here. So WSJTX is here and Grid Tracker is here. Uh, come over to the carrot and make sure that it is on your computer speakers. And you see from the little pull down I have a default, I have the USB audio and the speaker. Uh, the good news on this one is once you set it you can walk away. So uh, I had to come in here and do this. Uh, and then repeat the crime for your input device. Make sure that it's not uh, on any of these. And uh, so I've got my Realtek. And just to be safe, come down here to WSJTX and do the same thing. So you're actually using uh, the Realtek and Realtek uh, or whatever your computer speaker is. Uh, so once you get that all taken care of, you can uh, close that down and I want to show you one more thing. Now I suspect that maybe there is a is a uh, let, well what's happening is when an alert an audio alert is going off and you have TX enabled and you are actually transmitting that's when all everything happens normally uh, you wouldn't be transmitting uh, when your audio alert is going so maybe uh, there's a like a, a tail on there uh, on your audio alerts where it is still talking uh, when you decide it's time to get out or when you uh, when your computer decides it's time to uh, start transmitting uh, so just to be safe let's make sure that we go and we check out our time make sure we are all synced to there I'm going to show you two ways to do this and I'll show you the hard way and then the easy way uh, come down, float your mouse over your time and date, right click and go to adjust time and date. This is the long way, uh, so I want you to come down here on, under this menu and click on additional clocks. Come up here to internet time, which is what you're trying to sync to. 
you go change your settings you uh, synchronize with an internet time server uh, and you got two choices Windows and NIST uh, I like to use NIST because by golly I pay my taxes and I want to get some use out of them uh, once you've selected the server go ahead and uh, click update now and it should come back with successfully synchronized and the current time if it doesn't come up if it comes up with an error uh, then don't worry about it just hit update now until it actually syncs now the easy way to do this and I'm going to actually take it back to scratch float your mouse right click adjust date and time and you will see under additional settings sync now once you've got that other other uh, setup done from now on you can use this one just come over here to sync now and you should get a check mark that means you're good again if it has a problem and it gives you an error repeat until it uh, gives you that check mark and that's it uh, pretty simple fixes for a uh, problem uh, I hope that uh, grid tracker might make uh, some automated fixes where it comes and looks at your computer and sets things up right I do apologize I'm using Windows 11 um, good program but I know a lot of you haven't upgraded yet there are very similar uh, ways to do that and the, the process is nearly identical uh, on uh, Windows 10 uh, and I presume that Apple also has something, uh, but I'm not familiar with Apple uh, Apple uh, computers uh, other than uh, iPad and iPhone uh, apps. So, uh, all that said, uh, I apologize for the quality, but please give me a like. Uh, let me know that you've seen it. Uh, Secondly, please uh, share this with as many folks that you know are using Grid Tracker. Uh, get it out on social media, share it around. And uh, please leave a comment below. If you have no other comments, uh, or if you have additional fixes, I'd love to hear that. But if you have no other comments uh, other than that, just say hi and let me know what you think of the new hat. Uh, finally, uh, uh, I would appreciate it if you would consider subscribing. Uh, I am really trying to build this uh, channel and there's two things that they look for. They look for subscriptions and watch time. So, you know, when you watch one of my videos, eh, watch a little bit more than half before you shut it off. That'd be great. And please subscribe. 7-3 uh, for now. I'm Tom, at your service, as always, uh, and I'm out.